All right, welcome to All Day Pass. Today we're back at Universal Studios. Special kind of video. We're joined once again by the Degenerate Collector from YouTube. His first time ever at Universal Studios. We've got an action-packed week planned with lots of firsts for this guy. So he's gonna be kind of the co-host star of a lot of these videos here. What are you most looking forward to today at Universal Studios? At Universal today, I'm looking forward to Springfield, the Simpsons attraction, because I think it's going to be excellent. My Mr. Burns impersonation is terrible, so you gotta excuse me. So it's it's an early Friday morning, summer has begun, uh, at least summer break, already a lot of people. So we're gonna head right through the gate and get on there. So join us for your all day pass. Uh, we've got Simpsons at 60 minutes, but of course Mario Kart's, it's a little lower than it was earlier, it's down 110 minutes, so that's still a two hour wait. And rides are starting to come up, so it's a good thing we have all day, because it's going to take all day to get through all these, probably. All right, so we are coming up to Springfield now. Like, for those who have been here, of course, it's centrally located. And you have to go through it. So here's this guy. Here I am, going to Springfield. Walking through. Obviously, uh, we'll kind of film, but he's got a mic on as well, so we'll be able to hear him and his experiences. And he might even be filming for his own self as well. Lard Lad Donuts. So Inside of Springfield, here is Krusty Land. And right now I'm looking at the Quickie Mart and Krusty Land. All right, so we're about to head up to the Revenge of the Mummy. 25 minute wait. First so, ride of the day. Yeah, so. roller coaster apparently, right? It, it is, yeah. So it's it's and a it type of roller coaster. Doesn't go upside down, right? That we know of. That but we it, know but of. It's dark, so who knows? So I could down. I could possibly die here today. Possibly. So, so it's we possible. gotta go, we gotta go store our bags in here and then no filming or anything on it. So we'll be back in just a flip of a screen to talk about what he thought. All right. So we just got off the roller coaster and uh we'll it let was, him talk it was cool it was my first roller coaster in almost 12 years it was definitely something to get me in the mindset of what awaits me today yeah, you're pumped up now yeah i'm pumped, pumped up now i was hoping it was going to be a longer ride because i was really getting into my groove there but then next thing i know the ride was over but hey we got a lot more waiting for us today right decepticons rise I would let live as my pet. The Autobots cannot protect you. Let your undying allegiance to the Decepticons and proclaim all hail, Lord Megatron. Yes, who are you want? Degenerates up, so. I'm up, I'm up. Here we go. This one wears the colors yeah, of the Luigi. The Luigi. <laughs> and you, covered in decals. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic? Oh. You heard me. Pathetic? <laughs> Why, because you're a ripped up jean vest, you think you're tough? <laughs> I have plasma cannons. <laughs> All right, so... Just after meeting Megatron, now we're going to actually head into Transformers because it dropped from a 40 to a 30 minute wait. We Where were talking that it's a little dated, uh, yeah. but it's it's generic enough where it's still enjoyable. I almost wish that it was even more dated where it would be like Transformers Generation 1 <laughs> from the 80s. Then it would be very awesome. But yeah, I think that with the new Transformers movie coming out, they should definitely think about giving this a facelift at some point in the future. Okay, so we just got off the Transformers ride. Pretty cool ride. Very, like we talked about, very kind of outdated though with the, the clips they were using. Very 2009, 2010, but all in all being a Transformers fan, Pretty cool ride. We're contemplating whether we're gonna go run into Super Nintendo World right now, because uh, the ride's still creeping down, but it's also lunchtime, so we might grab some food first. All right, so we are coming up to the entrance to Super Nintendo World. I'm gonna walk behind the Degenerate so we can uh, 
get good reactions. I'm getting ready right now to enter into the warp tunnel. Yep, and the tunnel's cool. It's got lights that make it look like you're warping through. Walking into Super Nintendo World. Let's get ready to go through the tunnel and experience. Oh, that is awesome how they have childhood. the. Uh... <laughs> this is pretty cool. Looks just like Super Mario World from the old SNES game. Oh, there's the little, uh, I don't know his name, but up there, there's the cactus guy. Well, what's the cactus guy's name? A pokey. Yep. Pokey, that's what it is, pokey. All right, so we are heading up right now. Let me get my camera up. We ended up with a free haircut that day. It was an unwanted haircut, and blue does not give great haircuts, oh. so we do have to be careful around this dinosaur. All right, so here we go. We <laughs> may get devoured by blue yep. back here. <laughs> Thank you. Jeez. All right. So <laughs> I am standing right in front of Blue, and I did not get devoured, so I made it out of here in one piece. Cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, we almost got eaten. All right. So now we're sprinkling a little bit of Horror Nights updates. Uh, we can see some intense construction going on right in the front of the house that's going to be behind the mummy. Uh, they're definitely working on the facade right now. And then you can see, a, not quite as good, but the one that's kind of back behind Transformers. Uh, they also have quite a bit of flurry of activity going on around it right now. People moving around, uh, lots of construction stuff going on. So that's really exciting. I'm hoping they're gonna just meet and exceed last year's houses and facades. Um, so we got a little bit more that we're able to see throughout the park, so we'll go take a look at those. All right, so we're right at the top of the studio tour, hosted by Jimmy Fallon. Here's hosted the by the degenerate Fallon. Now. Yeah, I'm the degenerate. This one will be hosted. Oh, by, oh we can't uh -oh. go down that way. Walking. Well, we can still walk down. We can it's walk just not down. Running, well, so. let's walk down away right. right from the crowd. It's the stairs. Uh, you can see it says studio tour lasts 60 minutes. It's about an hour. Um, all kinds of different things, indoors, outdoors, we're on the tram the whole time. So you get to sit and relax and rest for an hour. Oh, wait a second, the stairs are stopped. <laughs> now you have to walk down those escalators. Am I going to be YouTube famous? Uh, maybe. 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 <laughs> Call all right. us out. So there's studio tour. Uh, you can see a little bit of the uh, stuff that's on it. Oh okay. man, yeah. Got my shades and we're ready for the tram. Oh, so those are silent. Yeah. All right, so we're just loaded on us on an electric tram, so that's really cool. Uh, loading down the doors right now, so we're getting ready to head right out uh, and check out some of the studio tour. We'll be back in about an hour. Get some footage of what we're going to see on the way. Right back on the film, so production doesn't have to get delayed at all or by too much. And while the front lot does have a lot of our sound stages, it's also got some of our sound and video. Oh, it's a big facilities. Giant white wall Those right facilities now. don't usually get used until filming is done, though, just so that you can. He always makes sure it's all clean and ready to go. You know, he pays real close attention to detail. Oh, y'all know what? He actually might have just had somebody staying in that first cabin. So he's just getting it all tidied up for us, ready to go. Well, that is just precious, everybody. He'll bring us right back onto the tram after our stay. Hey, Norman, baby, how you doing? Oh, he don't want to talk right now. I understand. He's a pissy man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Norman! <laughs> how, was this, how was this studio Tram tour? was excellent. So oh, far... Yeah, let me zoom out. <laughs> I'm on my third attraction of the day. The tram is going to be hard to top. The Fast and the Furious, excellent. Fantastic. Fantastic. And you're the only one who thinks that. Really? No one likes it. Nobody <laughs> likes the Fast and the Furious. The Fast and the Furious was like the best. I thought it was going to be Psycho, but it was hands down Fast and Furious all the way. What is what is wrong with Fast and Furious? It's fantastic. So for his first time ever, wandering into Hogsmeade, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And I know absolutely nothing about Harry Potter. I've never watched not one single film. I've never read any of the books. So I'm familiar with the concept. I just know absolutely nothing about this series. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah. So, like he was saying, he he has no. He's not like me. Uh, in many ways, yes. But in this case, I'm a huge Potterhead. 
he knows nothing about it. So right now he's just looking around going, oh, it's just a, a snowy filled village. But obviously we're heading over to the castle, to Hogwarts, to go on to uh, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. It'll be his uh, first exposure to it. Uh, and then we'll go from there. You never know. Afterwards, I may binge watch every Harry Potter movie and become the biggest super fan in the world. Which you can do because obviously I owe the box set Blu-ray. Own the box set Blu-ray. Dumb when I ask this, but what is that? All right, so for the uninitiated, so in the lore, that's Hogwarts. That's the school, the setting for the majority of every book. Uh, here, it's where the Forbidden Journey is located. It's the ride here. And then throughout the year during like Halloween, they do shows like every half hour with a projection show up on it. And then the, at Christmas time, they do a holiday one as well. It's really, really cool. It's really uh, cool when it's lit up, projected up, because the projectors come from back here behind us. Um, but it's just really it makes you feel like you're in Hogsmeade, because as you can see the sign here, Hogwarts is Hogwarts. that way. The town of Hogsmeade, which is kind of like the uh, uh, like the local village in Scotland near the uh, the school, is right here where all the shops are that they can go in and buy stuff. All right, so we just got off the ride. I'm gonna let you tell us what happened. I'm traumatized right now. <laughs> Thought I was gonna be stranded in Hogwarts for the rest of my life. We get about halfway through the ride and this lady's voice just comes over the PA system saying that the ride is temporarily stopped and we're just hanging in midair in pitch black darkness and I immediately turn to Jed and I'm like, is this part of the attraction? And he's like, no, it's not. And so I'm like, perfect. My first time at Universal, I'm just dangling in midair, not knowing what's going on. But <laughs> In all seriousness, it was a fantastic ride. I don't know if it'll make me want to be a big Harry Potter fan, but a fantastic attraction at Universal altogether. And obviously, I have to agree because I love Harry Potter. I don't know if it's my favorite ride here, but it's definitely one of my most favorite. Obviously, this guy loves it too. Um, and so this is now the second time in a row that Declan and I have been stranded. This one wasn't quite as long as the last time. We dropped a couple of shorts on that as well. Uh, where that one, we were stuck for like over 10 minutes. So now we're gonna go possibly hit the other ride here. And then we got a few more that we've got to hit. We've got exactly four hours before they kick all of us regular folk out because it's another Red Bash night. So we gotta hurry up if we wanna hit everything. Since we're here, we're gonna run over and get on Flight of the Hippogriff real quick. Short roller coaster, uh, almost a kitty ride, but, but it's got some good turns on it. You can see it right there going. Yeah, I see it right it's there. It's really the smooth, too. So, okay, so this is an actual track roller coaster. Yep. Uh, oh, yes, yeah. Uh, so this is an outdoor roller coaster. Looks like stuff I'm used to from back on the East Coast at King's Dominion. So, yeah, let's do this. So, here we go, guys. We're getting ready to ride the actual Harry Potter roller coaster. Here we go. Get a shot of Hogwarts over there. Here we go. Yeah! Oh yeah! This is a roller coaster. All right, so Hippogriff's all done. There it goes right there. What did you think? It was a tease. It was a tease. <laughs> Gave me 50 seconds of everything. Then I couldn't even reach my climax and it was over. So, in a family friendly show. I'm being family friendly. <laughs> being family friendly. But yes, that roller coaster. Mommy, what's a climax? Was a tease. And a climax for all you viewers out there is when you get on a roller coaster and then it doesn't fulfill your expectations because it's too short and it lets you down. It's, but it was fun regardless. It's the height of the story. Yeah, exactly. What he said. All right, time has come for his most anticipated ride. Krusty Land. Is Simpsons the, the Simpsons ride. 
which is in Krusty Land. I'm gonna look just like Homer up there screaming when I'm on this ride. Oh, guaranteed. So it's a 75 minute wait, uh, but we are gonna try and head through Express actually. So they've got obviously the carnival games outside. I can see the line in there. We're gonna go get in line. All right, so they sent us a different way. I've never been this way. Oh, no, we're not alone. Okay, we're not all alone. right. Oh, it's so dark in here. There, we've come around. All right, number one coming up here. Now we get to wait. I do love this waiting room here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah. This is awesome. All right, so we just got off Simpsons. Did it live up to the hype? It lived up to the hype, but it wasn't the best ride yet. I did enjoy when we went inside of Maggie's mouth and she proceeded to spit us out and her her spit got all over us. Yeah, and, and that was like a, like a smell-o-vision part because she spit us out and we got spit on and then when we were in her mouth, it smelled like baby powder. Yeah, it did. So yeah, it was, it was a good ride, but so far I'm gonna have to say that I've enjoyed the tram and surprisingly, Hogwarts. Excellent, well, now we're heading to... We are going to Nintendo World. Super Nintendo World to try and get in line for... 90 minutes. Yep, for Mario Kart. And uh, so the queue is, yeah. is, I don't wanna say just as exciting, but it's one of the most exciting queues in the entire park. So that should be really, really fun as well. One eternity later. <laughs> yes. So here's the front entrance to Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge, of course. Bowser up there is part of the queue. We walk around it and 90 minute wait right now. No express for this. So we're going to wait in the whole thing. So are you, are you giddy? Are you excited? Are you like, eh, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited. Not excited about the wait, but excited. All right, we're getting ready to go on. Let's go. Got my Mario hat on. Here's our car. Uh, I'm shooting something. Oh, okay, yeah, I got right. it. I got it. I think. Wow. Oh, oh. I just completely crashed. Ah. <laughs> I don't. Oh my god. Oh, I only got 34 points. Six thousand. I got 84. I only got 84. You beat me. I only got 84. What? What? Uh, 84. Yellow for the win. All right. So we just got off Mario Kart. We filmed the whole thing. Sadly, you came in last place, but that's okay. It was your first time. Last place. Fair. Last place. I was beat by everybody. I didn't even know how to put my goggles on. <laughs> that was the worst part of it. I mean, I wasn't going to dime me out like that, but yeah, he was trying was to do exactly what the video said not goggles to do. on. Like, <laughs> I knew instantly if I couldn't put goggles on, I was going to be complete crap at the game after that. So, but yeah, the wait is really, really long, but the scenery outside definitely makes it and it's breathtaking. So, yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. Checking out more HHN stuff. This has been significantly improved upon since our last visit. Still hard to tell what it's gonna be, at least just from looking at it. Let me get out of, oh, let me get back here out of the way and I'll put it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, definitely a really nice uh, looking facade, old, again, something very old, uh, like a building that's kind of falling apart. Uh, I'm really excited about it. This, the house at this location always seems to really you know live up to everything it's supposed to be so i'm really excited so we're coming over to the exit of this maze sorry sorry house and uh okay they've got it super under wraps they've got multiple layers of green wall that you just can't see past so nothing to give it away here all right so i might have to talk back and eat my words so we're right outside miss hattie's home for the girls and then super silly fun land with a really cool shot with the sun. But right here on the corner, this actually looks like where it's gonna be the exit 
for the house. Um, I'm not trying to get kicked out, but with the wind blowing this, I can see a little bit of construction back here. Nothing exciting, just some black walls in there. But I just realized with all these walls, this is definitely going to be the exit. And let me come over across the way here, thread my way through the people like a needle and get all the wall. So, all right, that's different because I don't recall houses or mazes in the past ever exiting out through this area. All right, so that wraps up our trip to Universal Studios, our, you know, daily, monthly, weekly trip, his first, first time. time. Final thoughts. Final thought right now is the sign that's right behind us, this neon Universal Studios Hollywood sign. I don't know how many of you guys used to watch American Gladiators as kids, but they used to film American Gladiators here back in the day, and they would always say, filmed at Universal Studios in Hollywood, so it's funny that seeing this on the way out is instantly one of the highlights of the day because this instantly <laughs> brought back so many memories to me. But yeah, definitely it's a very crowded place for somebody that's never been to a theme park. It's a cool place. If I would come here probably like these guys do more often, yeah. I would get more adapted to the surroundings. But a fun time, all in all, no complaints. And I still stick to it. I don't know anything about Harry Potter, but the best ride was Hogwarts. Uh, but all in all, it was a really fun day. We got to ride almost everything. We could have probably, if we uh, adjusted our times just a little bit, we probably could have hit everything. Um, but we really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give us that thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. As always, please be kind and be real and join us for your next All Day Pass.